Zero. Greetings everyone, I'm RTR and welcome back to Countdown to Sparking Zero. Still on my own here and uh, with something that is, uh, I imagine a lot of you weren't expecting. I mean, when I was making this list, I wasn't expecting it. Today we're playing um, a game I didn't even know existed until I was compiling the list for Countdown to Sparking Zero and a bit before that. Um, when me and Ariane, who, yes, he unfortunately isn't here, um, used to play or talk about Dragon Ball games, he brought up a game called Super Dragon Ball Z. And I called bullshit. <laughs> I didn't think that game existed. And after looking it up, and of course the thing you're watching right now, it exists. This is a real thing. Somehow. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to be playing it today. <laughs> I did, yeah, this was released in between Budokai Tenkaichi 1 and 2, released in uh, 2006. So... <laughs> While I was sat down playing Sonic 06 and Riders uh, on the PS2, there was this just hiding in there. Like I said, 360 was already, PS3 were already a thing at this point. But this game just released. It's, it is just... I, I am kind of lost for words because also apart from uh, testing if the game didn't run bad, like I just mashed through all the things and just got into a match for two seconds. This is gonna be like I'm. This is blind, completely blind. At least with all the other games, I at least had seen gameplay of them, like Hyper Dimension, or Final Fantasy II, Final Bout. Like I haven't played them, but I at least had seen them. This? No, I've never seen before. This is a completely blind mode, and Super Dragon Ball Z. yeah. And this is, I guess, technically the first time the Super label was used in anything in conjunction with Dragon Ball. So, what do you play? Now, this is going to be slightly different to the usual videos. Oh, I do want to be going to customize it to get a new controller. Uh, got horrific stick drift. We'll be going into options. Changing the difficulty just to normal, I guess. And then, as far as I'm aware, I mean, if, for the two people that know that this game exists, Ariane, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments below. But I don't think you can play against the AI just in a regular match, so we're just going to be we're playing the arcade mode. We're just going to play through the arcade. And we'll do it with... Oh, I think we have a bit of Blue Saga and um, even Original. I kind of want to. Oh, yeah. Go play this game, people. Are. Yeah, why not? So we're just gonna, see, I guess, see how far we get. Just make our way through this. I wonder if all these are unique. I said I've no, I, I, I've never played this game before. I just opened the game, looked at the skill list, and then was like, yeah, I'm good. So here we go. This is Super Dragon Ball Z. God, I hope there's no ring outs. It'd be really embarrassing if my first match ever immediately ringed out. Seems we have a dash button, uh, key blasts, whatever that was. We have an action meet at the bottom. I guess that's like that's a key. We got a, a weird knee move. Okay, there's no ring out, thank god. Oh, I don't... Okay, yeah, that, that was a move that I did, apparently. Like, this is a very, very... Strange game. I did look at... You could, if you did quarter circle forward twice, you would do your special move. For whatever reason. And I don't know if you do... Uh, I don't think maybe only it's transformations that have it, but... Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there are moves by doing, like, a Z motion. I think it's that, but he keeps blocking it. I don't know what the block button even is in this game. You can fly, apparently. I think with oh, it's circle is jump, and then you can fly with. Um... The other things like moving takes up action as well. Okay, I've got our grip to the controls. It seems we're all right. It's not actually, you know, I know I've only played one match, but 
against probably the easiest normal difficulty character, but it's n not bad, you know? I kind of like, it's very arcade. I think from what, I did a little bit of research on this. Um, by that I mean look at the game's wiki page. I think this uses Tekken. Like a, a, an old Tekken, like Tekken 4, Tekken 5. So he's pretty nice. Oh, and it also, good locales as well, flying in, um, on the, the, the clouds of Otherworld. Apparently we're going underneath. You can, the stage transition in this game, that's really cool. Oh, I do. I didn't notice that Chi Chi uses uh, the Nimbus to fly, which yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder. I, I didn't see his kick go. Can this game would be pretty cool? I, 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 mean, I imagine probably not because of um, um, probably just they want to put one Goku in. It's not like modern games where they just like to throw every Goku in. We got Broken Teller Barbara in the background. Oh, no, I think you, think you fly by double pressing circle? Yeah, you do. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is, I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this. Fine with a bit of stick drift, but... Very simple controls. Very easy controls, I mind you. Like, it's just very simple, like... While you are just playing, like, a 3D fire, like... It is very Tekken-like, I guess. Um, but with an actual, like, block game. It seems like Chi Chi can stack uh, the Bushido fan. I don't know what the dub. I mean, she's probably saying it, but is it, I mean, I'm pretty sure it might be called the Bus Bushido fan in thingy. Uh, I'm currently doing a um, Dragon Ball rewatch at the moment in the color corrected version. It's I think it's pretty cool. Let me know if you guys, um, if any of you have watched the color correction. Oh, I've just died game talking too much when a. I've seen that in Mugens before. I've seen that screen. I've seen that Earth Shatter in Mugens before. Is this, good to, is this the origin of it, or is this like is that like a generic image? It seems like we have a grab of some sort. Yeah, we do have a grab. Okay. Let's see if we can pull off the ultimate again. I think it's four circle four, four circle four with X. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. She's gonna pull it off. Piccolo's blasts are really just good on their own, to be honest. Like, they seem just alright. I seem to have built up some moves. Maybe that's for super moves. I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, you see the one, two, three at the top. No idea what those are used for. But it doesn't matter because we, we won anyway. Alright, moving over to the, the lookout. Let's like next we're fighting um, Trunks. Let's go. Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, it seems you have some, like, equips and stats. I did see, like, you could, like, make... Because, like, similar to how, like, Budokai games where you could, like, customize um, certain fighters. I think that maybe if there's an arcade, you could save them. Like, kind of, like, hero style in a way. Let's see if we can pull off, like, this, whatever that move was. Also, uh, I think I accidentally did like a shitload of times in the first. Ooh, oh, he turned Super Saiyan, okay. Big battle transformations. <laughs> BT1 didn't have those. <laughs> Which, I find strange that the Budokai series had them, but BT1 just didn't. It's it just baffling. If you want to check out that video, it will be at the very end, or if you guys are somehow jumping into this series um, mid play this with by the way at the time of recording um the best two episodes currently are the final bout episode and i think budokai 2 so uh thank you guys for the support on those videos videos i wouldn't expect <laughs> um if you had told me what videos were going to do well <laughs> in this series i probably would have said oh yeah like budokai 3 um potentially some like the weird like the weirder games like this game maybe but GT Final Bout and Budokai 2. I really don't want to lose this. Give me a second. Let me just lock in, as the kids say. Okay, let's do that. But yeah, um, thank you for the support on the, the entire series overall, to be honest. Um, like I said, they kind of just this is like a passion project for me. Something because I'm genuinely deeply excited uh, for Sparking Zero, regardless of 
the shenanigans that have gone on as of recently. <laughs> uh, if you want to check out yesterday's video as well, I just did like a little um, breakdown on the um, <laughs> the past few days' events. I won't spoil anything uh, for multiple reasons, but you can check it. That video, I will put that video at the end of this one, um, linked in the card below, uh, just so you guys can. Uh, Watch that if you want to. There are some spoilers for Sparking Zero, though, so do be careful if you are. So we're playing Android 17 next. It seems, it seems to be pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think I've only lost one fight yet. Let's see if I can pull off the grab. You know, let's just say, like, a, uh, a fight is, like, close the distance move, like a Dragon Rush type thing. Oh, 17 does seem to have a hands there. See if we can get the grab. I want to get, get the grab at least once. Uh, special move does so much damage. It seems like he just comboed me. I think I might take some damage here, but see if I can pull it back. Yes. Oh, no. I was like, we're getting to a point where he's just beating my ass. To be honest, I haven't done a single attack off yet. Oh, there you go. I'm, 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 I'm just kind of experimenting with generic button combos. And it was like, uh, like when I play most fine games, it gets me killed. <laughs> Okay, our first... Actually, no, we got to be Chi-Chi, so... Our final round now, see if I can close the gap with that move, whatever the hell it is. Now, it seems like I, my ass is getting kicked by, um... By 17 here. Uh, someone's a bit out of their, um... Their time period, I guess. I would like to see, um... Demon King Piccolo, like, return in some game, because he's, like, so... I mean, I'm, you can argue a lot of original Dragon Ball is vastly underappreciated, you know, with... It's understandable, because the money makers are in Z, like, the Super Saiyan 4 is in GT and not all of Super now. Um, which is why we haven't had any trailers with any OG Dragon Ball stuff in... in, um, in Sparking Zero. Okay, um, I think to end this video off, we'll do another run through, but this time we'll set it on very hard. <laughs> we'll, we'll just see if I can make, if I can beat one round, not even a game, just a round. And I guess we'll play as, who do you want to play as? We'll do Margin Vegeta. <laughs> So if things go to shit, oh, yeah, it's, it does seem like maybe the characters are the same, but the locations are random. Perhaps? I mean, I think we'll find out, because I'm probably get to, about to get my shit rocked by Krillin, so... Okay, let me do a quick little... Command this look, okay, and I'm ready. I'm ready to take him on. Oh, we even have destructible environments, it looks like. Okay, it seems like he's recognizable. I'm downloading his moveset. Close the gap and use this game more. So the destructo disc at me. Okay. I mean, it's a lot closer than what I thought it would be. We're in the air now. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's see if I can get some... Bla oh, we have a big bang attack, it looks like. Thankfully, that does not pierce... Um... Oh, God. I'm throwing many... Just Thank God I managed to block that in time. I wonder if you can deflect. I'm not going to bother testing that out. But... I mean, I got a lot closer than I think. I still need to take a round. He just, he just, he just ran through, he just rolled through me. Nice, big bang attack, it seems like it did like no damage. I think maybe, is it damage scaling? I know, I didn't notice there was a damage slider in settings, so perhaps I may have needed to up the damage. Oh, we have some like lingering attack. This game is really like interesting and like unique. Oh, I think I, think I may have broken his stamina. Nice, nice to get the ultimate attack off there, the Gallic gun, I guess? I don't know, it's kind of like multiple Gallic shots. Oh, it's, yeah, see, it's like a weird, like, barrier thing, and he's kicked the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> I think that's about 
them when it's worth maybe not. Um, yeah, this is a really interesting game. I might actually kind of like it. I think I've discovered a new, like, I guess a hidden gem, really, because, you know, I don't see anything I've ever seen anyone cover this game before, so... If you guys enjoyed this, I might... If I get Ariane back, I thought about this. That if he returns, we might just do one-off videos playing some of the games we didn't get to play, like uh, the BT series and any others in the future. I think mainly because he also actually has experience playing this game. We might come back and just do this as a one-off outside of Countdown to Sparking Zero. If you guys want to see that, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. And let me know if you've ever even have you played this game before. I would love to see you guys experience this game. Like, who's your favorite character and anything? Just tell me anything about this game. I I, I want to know more about it now because I actually kind of like it. So, if you want to see more Countdown Sparking Zero, make sure to click the playlist or the video. And if you missed yesterday's video talking about the um, recent leaks about Sparking Zero, make sure to click the other video that's on your screen right now. And with that, I will see you guys later. Peace.